and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV at Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest in Horse Trailer Sales. For those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're right north of Denver, about 30 minutes off of I-25, really easy to access. And we carry not only a wide variety of used trailers, but we are also Cimarron and Logan dealers. So we carry those in the new, in the new varieties. Right behind me, I know you guys are already drooling over this trailer, as you can see in the background. This one's actually already sold, but before it leaves um, to its new home, I really wanted to video this trailer so you guys can see basically what we have on order for the next one. So we've already got this trailer reordered. Um, if you guys have any questions, you want a timeline or anything like that, you can always give me a call or shoot me an email and I can get you the details. The cool thing about getting a trailer that's already on order is that you have the ability, as long as it's not beyond a certain point, to make changes so that it can be exactly the trailer that you want. So for those of you that are excited to check this out and maybe order a seven horse or an eight horse in the future, this is our 2022 Cimarron North Star. All right, so the first thing you'll notice is Man, this is a big spare tire up here. So we actually put upgraded these, these trailer tires to 17.5 Continentals. They're 18 ply tires. Um, big trailer equals big, big tires, good running gear underneath this. We wanted to uh, make sure that the buyer has a really good experience. These tires will have really good wear and tear. Um, they'll age really well. So. We wanted to make sure that if they're fully loaded, they're confident with what's underneath their tires. They are nitrogen filled and every uh, Cimarron trailer comes standard with the aluminum wheels. So these, these, this trailer is set up to haul and put some good amount of weight on it. Another thing you'll notice to make this trailer pull really well is we've actually upgraded the axles to uh, 8,000 pound Dexter Airflex axles. So this trailer is equipped with air ride. As they pull this down the road, they're not even gonna notice this thing is behind them. These air ride trailers, they pull so smooth. The benefits for your horses are the reasons that you buy an air ride trailer. Uh, they don't, essentially when this trailer is going down the road, you have your standard rubber torsion axles underneath them, but then you've got airbags on top of that. And the airbags really help take a lot of that hard hitting jolts and vibration out of the out of the ride so that your horses are really comfortable when they get to your location. I know a lot of horses when they get out of a rubber torsion trailer, especially going down dirt roads or anything like that, they stumble out there. They look a little sore sometimes, especially the older guys. It's hard to ride in those rubber torsion trailers. And although it's better than they used to be, this is the best option to go with. So we spend a lot of money on our horses. We want them to have a good experience getting in and out of the trailer, because vet bills are expensive. The more wear and tear you put on your horses, the more you're gonna have to put into upkeep for them. So even though Air Ride is an upgrade and uh, not a cheap one, it usually ends up costing less in the long run. Another reason we really like these Air Ride systems is they're super simple to use. You have a battery in here with a battery disconnect. We put our battery disconnect on all of our inventory trailers, especially if they've got this hydraulic jack here. We want to know that if you go up to hook up your trailer, that your jack isn't going to be dead because you left a light on. This trailer has lights everywhere on it, and it's hard to remember to turn off every single one. If somebody dashes in and forgets to turn off a light, it could be detrimental to you the next time you go to hook up. So by having this battery disconnect, it's just a really easy thing for you to remember that you just go and you turn it to the off position as soon as you're done using it. And that means no power is getting to your trailer. There's no lights that are draining on that battery. So that when you go to hook up, you can easily run this jack up and down at the push of a button. So you do have this manual override. So the nice thing about these electric over hydraulic uh, equalizer jacks is that if you have to, if you're in a bind, your battery's dead, you can manually pump this trailer up and down. It takes a lot longer. You'll really wish that you had your, uh, your jack working, but it is something that we've done on many occasions. So it's a nice little backup in there. But back to the air ride, very simple to use. All you do is you make sure your battery's on, 
we switch this little power button on here. And then what I usually recommend is I turn this air ride on, but I keep it in the lower position. And that's because this, when you have your air ride engaged, it lifts your trailer up about two to three inches off the ground. So we want these trailers to be nice and easy for your horses to step in and out of. And that means a lower trailer is a lot easier to get in and out of. So by keeping it in the lower position, you're filling the compressor, but you're not lifting the the, filling those bags just yet. And then as soon as I'm loaded, I've done my checks, I'm ready to go, I just switch it to the raised position like it is now, and it'll dump all that air from the compressor into the bags. You'll hear your compressor kick back on again, and it'll start filling everything nice and quick so you can get down the road. It's as simple as reversing the process when you get to your destination. So I usually just turn it off, switch it to lower, and then this little cord right here actually serves a really great purpose. And that's so that when you're done with your trailer, when you are ready to turn it all off, you can actually bleed out all the air and condensation out of the lines so that if you live in a cold climate like we do, where you know it might be 50 in the winter during the day, but then it gets to below freezing at night, we don't want all that condensation in the lines doing any damage, expanding, contracting, um, and cracking those lines, because that can get kind of expensive. So it's really easy maintenance hack just to pull this cord at the end of every use. I usually let just all the air and condensation hiss out at me, and then I know that I've cleared my lines and that I'm doing a good job maintaining this trailer. So it's not anything that's super complicated. Um, you don't have to have a compressor on your truck. It's all built in. The air ride systems are really set up to be very user friendly. A lot of people get concerned, well, what happens if I do have a crack in my lines um, or my air ride system is unusable? The good news is that trailer is riding down the road like every other trailer out there. It is a rubber torsion suspension underneath those airbags, so you are fine to pull it down the road until you can get to your mechanics and get it into the shop to have it looked at. So it's not like the old air ride trailers of old where if you had an issue with your air ride, you were stranded. This, this system is really set up to be very useful for today's world. All right, I know you guys in the background saw this, uh, this uh, trainer's tack that I had on the side, and I'm sure you guys are excited to get to that part. So this trainer's tack, we've got a five foot six short wall on the other side, which gives us a nine foot six long wall. That enables us to have these dual doors trainer's tack. I know every trainer out there is going to be really jealous of this trailer and don't worry you can order one or you can grab one of the ones that we have on order but this is just a super usable system. You've got two fold down steps so this trailer's eight foot wide. We don't have any running boards so it's really nice to have these steps. It just enables us to get up in there and you're able to grab those taller sat uh, the saddles off these top posts here you got an eight tier blanket bars, four tiers on each side for a total of eight saddles. If you need to add an additional saddle rack, the nice thing about these Cimarron's is they're very adjustable. So you can literally buy another one of these tiers and you can put it in the top or the bottom and you can get yourself uh, another saddle. You can move these up and down so if you need a little more clearance for those bigger westerns and maybe you've got a few English saddles and they don't need quite as much space, you've got the ability to adjust them. This blanket tier here is also adjustable. So if you wanted to switch this around and do saddle tier, blanket bar, saddle tier, blanket bar, saddle tier, blanket bar, and use all three sides here, that's, that's completely doable. It's very easy to adjust. So I really like kind of the customizations that you can do on these Cimarron trailers. Another thing tra trainers have is they have a lot of bridles. They're usually carrying a lot of stuff with them, lots of different horses, lots of different options, maybe several different classes. So we've equipped this with not only bridle hooks on each door, but you've got bridle hooks on the front wall, bridle hooks on the back wall. There's tons of places to hang things um, in this trailer and you're never, you're never gonna have to leave something at home because you don't have enough space. Another thing I really love about this trailer is that we equipped it with rubber mats in this tack room. It's really easy to just go ahead and either take these out and power wash them 
or you can take just a broom and sweep them up. A lot of people, if they're walking in and out of the showgrounds, if it's rained or anything, you want to keep this area able to be cleaned up easily. So as you're grabbing your, your saddles, you're not going to just trash all the carpet that's on the floor here. We've carpeted the walls, and that's just to kind of protect your bridle hooks, but as, or protect your bridles, but also make sure that the aluminum behind it doesn't get nice and scratched up. Um, your horses are right on the other side of this wall. So we try and keep it as quiet as possible for them as they're traveling. So we don't want to have bits swinging back and forth and causing a lot of racket right here when your horses are right on the other side. So that's a couple of the reasons we carpeted the walls in here, um, but left uh, upgraded the floor to this rubber mat. You've also got brush boxes on either door. So if you need to throw a couple grab and go items in, you can. There's also plenty of floor space. Um, so if you need to throw some boxes or track, tack trunks or anything in, you can even move these saddle tiers up and have a lot of room underneath uh, that's very usable. One of the things that we did on this trailer is any of our big man doors, and we've actually done it on this side over here, we've put one of these digital combo locks. So these digital combo locks are really cool. You can actually program them uh, to your own codes. So they're a little pricey of an upgrade, but on a trailer this nice, especially if you're a trainer and you have a lot of people needing access to your trailer, you can give away the code to those trusted individuals, and then you don't have to worry about them coming to bug you or losing keys or anything like that. It's really easy to operate. We've got one on this door as well as the front dressing room so that those people that need to get in and out of this trailer, they can easily have access and you can keep all of your expensive saddles and bridles locked up when you're not using it. All right, so on this long expansive wall over here, you'll notice a couple things. I already mentioned this trailer is eight foot wide. We actually made this a little bit taller, so it's also seven four tall. Our trainer's trailers that we've done in the past in the seven horse, we usually kept them at seven six wide. But we found that it's not that much more to go to a full eight, eight wide trailer. And by doing that, you really open up your possibilities a lot more of what types of horses you can haul. We give them a lot more space going down the road so that they can be very, very comfortable. Another thing we did on this trailer is we put a lot of lights on the exterior. So if you're getting home late from a show or you're arriving to a show late, you can tie these horses out. You can see what you're doing. Make sure you're tying up the right horses to the right places um, and you're not going to be fumbling around in the dark. These are 16 inch awning lights, so they throw out quite a bit of LED lights um, so you can really see what you're doing at the end of each day. We've also done drops on the hip side. So this is a seven horse gooseneck. We did four drops on the hip side and three bus windows. We just staggered them every other. You can get a lot of airflow running through this trailer and you won't have to worry about your horse's heads up front having any flies or bugs or rocks come in. You can keep these drops down on the hip and then that hay or anything you put in front of them is not going to be swirling around in their faces. So I really like doing these drops on the hips. Uh, I think a really good upgrade that we've done on these trailers. You've got tie rings in between each drop so you can tie a bunch of horses out here on either side. Once again, I just want to point out these 17.5 Continentals. Um, for anybody that, that pulls a trailer, I think everybody can appreciate a really good set of tires. And you'll notice how much more clearance you have here. The air ride is engaged and it is the airbags are full. So if you're to load horses on this, um, this is kind of your traveling height. It's really nice because it does give you a little more ground clearance. You're not the smallest trailer, you're 32 foot 9 inches on the floor. So by having a really long trailer, you want to make sure that if you're going through any highs and lows, you have plenty of clearance to get through them. So that air ride also has the added benefit of giving you a little bit more ride height as well. Did a big single rear door here, and we threw a huge bus window in the back. As I mentioned, you're not going to have any issues getting enough airflow on this trailer. It's going to be really easy for you to open this up and manipulate it so that your horses are nice and comfortable. Especially if you're going to one of the hot states like this trailer is going to, um, there's a lot of added benefits about buying a Cimarron that's standard on every Cimarron. The biggest being that roof right there. So this roof is actually, it's a FiberTech roof. It's got a honeycomb 
core system. So like we really like them here in Colorado because we get a lot of hailstorms and that roof does really well. They've recorded up to baseball size hail hitting these Cimarron roofs without any damage. It's a single sheet. It's put on by three grown men walking up and down this trailer. These roofs are heavy, heavy duty. So there's a couple benefits of having a really heavy duty roof. Number one, you don't have to worry about stepping on the roof bows or suffer the consequences of denting your aluminum roof. There is no aluminum you have to worry about. This is a strong, strong sheet of, of, uh, of honeycomb core. It's a fiber tech roof. And um, on top, you've got a nice gel coat finish so you don't have to worry about the sun degrading it at all. We include a really high quality roof sealant. So they use a Dow Corning 791 roof sealant. So even though they want you to check your roof seals every year, there's a good chance you can go a lot of years without ever having to worry about the sealant on your roof. It also keeps it a lot cooler. So this roof has an, uh, a nice insulation value on it. You don't have to worry about a really hot day. This, oh, just a little tall. Oh, there we go. You can put your hand flat against that roof and not worry about scalding yourself. So it keeps it a lot cooler for your horses. Actually has some in sound insulating properties too. So it keeps it, uh, the noise a little less, less uh, loud. It'll kind of muffle things. So it's a really great feature that is standard on every single Cimarron across the board. So if you, if you want a Cimarron, don't worry, you're gonna be getting this really cool roof, even if it's in a two horse bumper pull. So as you can see, we've got a lot of dividers on this trailer. We did one stu stud divider in the front in case you need to throw some extra storage or maybe you do have a stud you wanna haul up there or a mean mare. The rest are these partial dividers. And one of the things I really love about a Cimarron is uh, this holder, this latch for the dividers. They're made of this really high quality, high grade plastic. So anywhere that we have metal on metal, we're gonna try and do some sort of plastic buffer. So this is a high quality, metal on metal actually wears a lot faster. So by doing this high, plas high grade plastic to this, this uh, aluminum here, you're actually increasing the longevity of this latch. It's also very quiet and easy to operate. One of Cimarron's big goals is for you to be able to operate this trailer one-handed because what do you usually have in the other hand is a, is a thousand pound animal. So we want to be able to open the latches with one hand, be able to maneuver around this trailer without having to wriggle latches together or worry about having to lose hold of whatever horse you're bringing in just because you've got to use two hands. Since we are eight feet wide, we get a couple benefits from that. Um, the biggest being these mangers here. So by going eight wide, it gives us a lot more room uh, width wise to add these 18 inch deep mangers. Mangers are wonderful for several reasons. Number one, you don't have to do feed bags if you don't want to, or like hay nets, you can throw the feed right in front of your horses so they're always munching on something. Um, number two is storage. I know that every trainer packs these trailers to the gills with as much stuff as they can bring because you never know what you're gonna need at a show. And they've just got a lot of stuff, a lot of clients, a lot of things to haul for their clients. So by maximizing your storage, you're making it as usable as possible for these trainers. All right. So nice and quiet in here. I'm gonna show you guys the stud divider. Lots of dividers to open. They're all spring-loaded, so as you're going in, you don't have to worry about, we're at kind of an angle right now, so this is kind of worst case scenario, and those springs are holding them nice and, nice and tight against this side here. So as you're walking horses in and out, you're not having to push dividers over to make your way through. The stud divider um, goes almost to the floor. You've got some room, so if you bed deep with shavings, those will slide nicely over the shavings. The nice thing about this stud divider is that if you need this first stall for extra storage, you have that ability to go in and out of the escape door without having to unload a bunch of horses. All of these dividers are made of heavy duty extruded aluminum. So you're gonna have really nice clean welds, you're gonna have nice radius to everything. 
Cimarron does their best to make these trailers as horse safe as possible. The last thing you want when you get to a location of where a show or a trailhead is for you to have an injury that you have to deal with to your horse. Horses are really good at finding any way they can to hurt themselves, so by having something that's already built safely uh, with the animal in mind, I think it's just, it's just a win-win situation. We do have some wheel well on the inside of this trailer since we are eight wide, but once again, it's all covered in this nice matting. Um, it's nice and soft, no, rate, or no hard edges, so your horses will be nice and comfortable in it. I know you guys are really excited to see what's on the other side of this wall here. I'll show you in just a minute. One of the other things we equip this trailer with is um, that a nine foot hay rack with an easy angle ladder. So a lot of trailers, um, trainers trailers, you're gonna be bringing your own hay or your own feed with you, maybe wheelbarrows, anything like that. By having a hay rack, it's just another place you can use for storage. Uh, like I said earlier, trainers are never short on needing a lot of storage. So we do have that ability up there. These easy angle ladders I absolutely love. Instead of crawling straight up the side of the trailer, it gets it nice and far away. It stores nice and neat against the side of your trailer. So you don't have to worry about slipping and falling. It's just a really nice, easy incline for you to get up and down. All right, so on these eight foot wide trailers, um, even the seven, six wides, you'll see a lot of the times we'll do this, what's called a broom closet. And we actually kind of taper this, this angle so it's a little bit shorter on this side, a little longer on this side. Um, and that's because you've got usually your horse's butts, you, you've got a little more room as you go to the back here. And this is really nice because you can fit those big, big uh, gallon buckets over here. Uh, you've got carpeting behind this here so that if you want to throw some more bridles here or some halters, all your grab and go items, um, you don't have to ha worry about your horse having to listen to it on the other side. It's a great little place for your pitchforks, muck buckets, anything like that. I think that everybody loves the fact that we can utilize that extra space that we've got on that last stall for a little bit more storage. So now we're gonna work our way on this side. As you can see, we've got drops on every head side, including on the escape door. More 16 inch awning lights above. And I've kind of propped all of these manger doors open. We've got a manger door on every single stall. So instead of, um, we could have cut some costs by just doing mangers on every other, but if you've ever tried to get things in and out of these mangers, it is so easy if you can go to exactly where they're located and pull them out versus having to crawl in there, grab your stuff and work your way back out. You've got tons of storage. We've done three really big manger doors on these, these ones in front of the wheel wells. And then we've done some smaller ones over the wheel wells. You've got a lot of manger lights in here. This is just an incredible amount of additional storage on this trailer. I think the, the lady that bought this trailer, she's gonna be able to stuff this thing full with whatever she wants. She's gonna have storage for days here. So you can see it goes all the way through. Um, you've, got, you've got the ability to put really whatever you need in there. These drop windows, I love Cimarron's drop windows. I think they do just a phenomenal job with the construction of their windows. So one of the things I really love is uh, once again, they're designed to be nice and quiet and safe for your horses. So uh, if you wanna run with them down, um, you've got the, uh, these nice big jail bars here. Everything is one piece, so you don't have to worry about moving pieces that are gonna break. You've got plastic end caps on either side here, covering these aluminum, the aluminum here so that it's going to be really quiet for your horses. They're not going to have to listen to that ting ting of metal as you're going down the highway. It's nice and safe so that if you want to run like this, I mean that's pretty dang secure. Your horses aren't going to be able to push their way through that. These drop down windows are huge and they've got over six inches of framing back here that you can't see. So on these trailers, I mean you're not going to get a lot of a lot of um, flex and torsion in those. They are built to last. So Cimarron's, they might be a higher price point to entry, but 
in the long run, I find that you save so much more money by not having to replace drop downs, by not having broken welds, because all of these, all of these hinges here are grease cert hinges, so you can maintain them over time. Get yourself a grease gun, um, and anytime you feel it's a little squeaky or needs a little bit of, of grease, they're really easy to maintain. So when we look at the cost of ownership of a trailer, that's something that a lot of people forget to factor in when they're looking at the purchase price. By having an air ride trailer, you're doing less wear and tear on your horses, on your trailer, and on your truck. If I had, if I had uh, my options, I would always pull an air ride trailer. I think they pull so smoothly behind you. Um, it's not gonna beat you up going down the road. And your horses are also experiencing that. And at the end of the day, we spend so much money on chiropractors, um, shoes, uh, feed, everything to increase the performance of our horses. And I mean, there a lot of them, to a lot of people, they are family members, so we want them to have the best care possible. Getting them a trailer that's gonna take care of them, that's gonna be safe, you don't have to worry about how they're gonna unload off this trailer, is something that I think that should be taken into account. So I'll grab my, my book. So as I said, you do have an escape door on this side. You've got a little chest bar, so if you need to open this door, you're not gonna have just a horse come barreling out at you. All right, now we move our way into our front dressing room. This is another really great place for trainers, because not only do you have more bridle hooks back here, you can hang like coats and stuff on this if you need to, um, but you've got this huge shelf with this big clothes rod, as well as a clothes rod up in the nose. So I know that a lot of uh, trainers are always traveling with a lot of clothes and they don't want them wrinkled. They're, if they're hauling for clients, they've all got a lot of stuff they're gonna bring. So by having this big, huge clothes rod here and up in front, you've got plenty of places to hang things. Um, you've got a nice bright LED OptiBright light in here in all of your spaces actually, your, your stall area, your um, side tack, as well as in here. So if you need to switch on the lights and be able to see what you're doing, um, this is just a really great place to do it. We did carpet uh, the walls and um, the gooseneck nose and the floor in here. The front dressing room I feel like is a place where a lot of people end up getting ready for a show, maybe getting away from the hustle and bustle. Just want a quiet place to sit down with some extra storage on this boot box here. So we've given them kind of a nice, quiet, clean space to get ready. You can keep all your dirty stuff on the other side there. This is a great place to kind of have for all your clean clothes and other stuff. So I know you guys are drooling over this trailer and don't worry, we've got another one coming. If there's anything that you saw on this trailer that you'd like to change, that seven horse that's on order, it's still far enough away at this moment that we can make those changes. Um, I, would love, I would love to design something for you guys or put your name on one that we have on order on the books. We've also got an eight, eight horse coming this fall, so if seven's not enough for you, we've got bigger trailers and we've built built 10 horses for people. So we love our Cimarron trailers. Uh, we love our customers that buy them. Please call me if you guys have any questions. My number is 970-309-6368. Once again, this trailer is not currently available. It is sold. But if you guys want to reference the stock number 5N210217, we can send you the build sheets to it. You can modify it, make it exactly how you want, and you can have a trailer just like this. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great day.